Hard drive. Hard drive. Hard drive. Hard drive. About what year? Uh, 1993. 1993. 1993. Yeah, that's all over. Yeah. This is from 1989. Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. I got those flipped. Dyslexia. Okay. It's about $200. Did I drop the megabyte? Cost me about $400. And now, I was just going to show you what it's worth now. <coughs> Uh, I'm not going to get violent. I'm just going to show you the tools, what you can use to at least get some value out of it. <laughs> First of all, the case is mostly made out of aluminum. <laughs> so since we live in the recycling era, I can't see very well. Pull off about 10 screws, and I've, I've pulled off most of them already, so you guys don't have to watch me unscrew things. Usually you screw things up. Just come and unscrew this tool I've got is really handy from Radio Shack. It's about ten bucks. It has really <laughs> teeny um, hex drivers. Oh well, there. <laughs> and then, oh, one more screw. That's what happens to me. If you if you have to pry on something, <laughs> if you have to pry on something, usually you forgot a screw. That's what I try to tell my kids, but I'm usually too late and they've busted it. Okay, there's the last screw. So this case is mostly aluminum, and it's it's kind of heavy, so there's quite a bit of aluminum there. The platters back then, and still some today, are made out of aluminum that have sort of a... They put a... Since aluminum's not magnetic, right? They usually use electrolysis or some spin technique to put a thin layer of um, a ferrite compound on there so they can magnetize. So, but the most fun part for me, that's why you need the hammer, but I'm not going to do it here. I already did it in the hotel room. You, to get the magnet out, there's some really powerful magnets. Did you guys, were you aware of that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very powerful magnets in here. Some of the most powerful in the world. The magnets just put magnets Usually, I know, isn't that strange? But they use a powerful magnet because the actuators that have to move, they have to be very precise. Yeah. You get a high power magnet in there with the windings. It, you can get really precise stepping. I started out in hardware, so I still like hardware. And anyway, you'll you'll see the magnet down there. You'll take something like this, and you'll just give it a slight tap, like bam. That'll break the glue. And you can pull out the magnet. I usually have pliers when I do this. And I have like 20 of these sitting at home, so I'm, slowly as I get bored, I have, I'll take one apart. Okay. So can you pick them up at like a surplus store? Like yeah, cheap? yeah. Don't, don't you guys ever store. have hard drives go bad and at least you want to get some value out of them? All the stepper motors out of them, that's a lot of fun. Ow. So there, I got them. These are the two magnets. They're quite strong. These are ceramic ones. Some of them are kind of this metal coating on them. See how strong they are? It'll go through my flesh. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> when you get them together, they can hurt if they pinch you. Hmm. I've had more powerful ones than this. But if anyone wants to try to try to take it apart, you can watch your laptop. Watch the CF card on your camera. You I don't think the card the will be affected by magnets. Really cool <laughs> yes, it's a slide technique you got to use. Yeah, you have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. slide them. Anyway, you can pass them around. And <laughs> I accept no yeah, responsibility for it. <laughs> and this one has four <laughs> in it. This, this one's extra cool because it has four in it. That's what I want. Don't put it on your fridge because you, no one will get it off. At least, <laughs> if I put it on my fridge. <laughs> Did you? Well, but my wife gets mad if I put it on the fridge because it's like to get it off, she has to scrape it to the edge and it scrapes off the paint as you go. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got.